The world depends on lithium-ion batteries. We buy billions of them each year for our smartphones and gadgets, but there are much better and cooler technologies on the horizon. From batteries you can safely cut and stab, to charging your phone by yelling at it, we count down five of battery technologies we wish existed now. Number five. Having a flexible battery would mean those concepts of morphable, bendable smart devices and wearables could become a reality. There are several technologies for flexible batteries being developed, including biodegradable paper batteries. One very cool flexible battery is being developed by a company named Prologium. Now they've developed a battery called the FLCB, or Flexible Printed Circuit Lithium Ceramic Battery. Stupidly long name aside, it can be bent, twisted and folded without harm. But that isn't the coolest bit. This battery can also be hit with a hammer, stabbed, even cut with scissors, and it won't explode, leak or catch fire. Now, unlike common lithium ion batteries which are very volatile and prone to exploding if you stab them, an FLCB is completely solid state, so it contains no flammable or liquid material. Sounds like pretty ideal properties to power devices close to our bodies. More amazing is that even after being punctured or cut, it will still keep on delivering power. Check out Mobile Geek's video as they tested one and the battery just kept on going. I'll put links in the description below for this and all the other cool tech mentioned in this video. Number four. If you're a war hugger, there are dozens of new technologies being developed that could put an end to your slow charging woes. Like the Israeli nanotech startup called Stordot, who demoed a synthesized organic battery mounted in the Galaxy S5 being charged from 0 to 100% in less time than it takes to cook 2 minute noodles. Can't spare 2 minutes? Scientists at Stanford University are developing an aluminium ion battery which is supposed to be safe, inexpensive, flexible and can recharge a phone in just 1 minute. If that still isn't quick enough, then check out Harvard student Ishikari's supercapacitor design that won her an Intel scholarship. Her futuristic nanotech gadget has the potential to fully charge a phone in Get this, just 20 seconds. Number three. Researchers are also looking into different materials to increase energy density for longer battery life and capacity. If we could double energy density, you could theoretically double the time before you need to find a power point. Or alternatively, we could keep the same battery life but have slimmer, lighter batteries for slimmer, lighter devices. One of these materials known as porous silicon lithium iron is said to give three times the energy density of current lithium iron batteries. This tech is also said to be able to achieve 10 minute charging times. Not bad, but even better, lithium sulfur batteries could deliver five times more storage than conventional batteries. It is also one of the easiest, cheapest and closest to maturity of the next gen battery technologies. So we might see this one sooner rather than later. Better yet, Lithium Ear could potentially deliver up to 10 times longer battery life than current lithium iron ones. If these existed today, our current one day battery life devices could potentially go a week and a half or more between charges. Number two. Now wireless charging already exists today in various forms, but it doesn't give you the same freedom as say wireless internet or wireless headphones, because current wireless charging still requires physical contact with a charging pad for it to work. But future wireless charging tech may mean we could power devices over longer distances. One of the most promising long range wireless technologies is being developed by a company called Osea. They have demonstrated their technology named Kota that uses Wi-Fi spectrum to wirelessly deliver power up to a range of around 35 feet. Unlike other long range wireless technologies being developed, Kota isn't line of sight so it can charge through walls and as it uses a direct cone of energy, it is also meant to be more energy efficient. Number one. It's said that the sun can produce enough energy in one second to meet the entire Earth's current needs for the next 500,000 years. But let's be honest, we are rubbishing at harnessing that power, and as it requires the device to be left out in direct sunlight, it isn't something that would be considered convenient or safe for mobile devices. But I think one of the coolest ideas is the one that taps into energy that is freely around us everywhere almost all of the time. I'm talking about noise. Researchers in the UK are developing a phone that can be charged by ambient sound, eliminating the need for a charger altogether as a battery will simply top itself up every time it's exposed to sound. Busy coffee shop, PAX train, noise from your living room TV or even yelling at your kids. It uses nano generators to harvest the energy from sound vibrations using a principle called the 
piezoelectric effect. It is a lot of complicated science, but for all intents and purposes, let's just call it magic. Again, if you're interested in knowing more about any of the tech mentioned in this video, I'll leave links in the description below. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please be sure to leave a thumbs up.